Welcome to the 11th episode of our Supply Chain Leadership Bulletin. It is called Less Leadership? Really? Let's get right into it. I made the case in the previous episodes already what my understanding of modern digital leadership is. I showed as well that global studies on leadership preferences clearly prove that staff and management are actually looking for leadership. And I finally talked about the relevance of leadership in the digital transformation of the supply chain and logistics industry. Consequently, you might argue that the topic of less leadership has already been answered. So why making an episode on that? Simply because I experienced situations where senior levels used the latest leadership theories and philosophies summarized under new work as justification to pull themselves out of their responsibility for leadership. I believe that this is an inaccurate interpretation of these philosophies. It simplifies the question of leadership influence towards yes or no, which does not reflect business realities at all. We saw in episode 9 the million dollar question that management and leadership needs to consider the different levels of maturity of teams. This means consequently that leadership might withdraw gradually whilst empowering their management teams at the same time, but only if leadership has developed its teams towards the right level of maturity before. And to make no mistake, the development of teams towards higher maturity and empowerment is a central responsibility of leadership. So here's my take on less leadership, really. All these new leadership philosophies and techniques do not argue for less leadership. They argue for less management, against micromanagement and for more leadership in the modern form of it. Organizing teams, inspiring and directing the efforts towards concrete goals. So it is actually more leadership than ever instead of less, but more leadership in its true sense and modern interpretation. In the 12th episode of our Supply Chain Leadership Bulletin, I will analyze if the supply chain and logistics industry is in a catch-22 situation while it's transforming and how to overcome that. But more about that next time.